Hi everyone, Aaron from Aaron's Co. here, showing you why adding a set of drift cutters to your snow throw will make throwing snow easier this winter. Drift cutters install to the sides of your snow throw and cut into hard packed snow that's taller than your auger housing. As these slicer bars cut through that stubborn snow that you'd otherwise have to chop up with a shovel, they knock that snow to the center of your auger housing so it can be ingested by your machine. Today we'll install drift cutter kit number 724069 which fits current production deluxe and platinum series models. For current production classic and compact series models, use kit number 732031. Open the carton and confirm that you have a set of drift cutters, four clamping knobs, four carriage bolts, and the instruction sheet. You'll notice you won't need tools for this installation. With the key removed from the unit, review your instruction sheet to learn the correct positions of your drift cutters and hardware. Place your drift cutter in the correct orientation, which is with the steel bend positioned downward. Then, insert one of the carriage bolts through the top hole in the housing, install the drift cutter onto the bolt, and secure it with one of the clamping knobs, but don't tighten the knob completely. Insert another carriage bolt through the lower hole in the housing and align it with the notch in the drift cutter. Secure with another clamping knob and tighten both knobs, but tighten the lower knob first. Ensure the cutter is secure and complete the same procedure on the other side. Be mindful of the drift cutter's correct orientation. The steel bend should be positioned downward. Then install the hardware and the clamping knobs, but remember to tighten the rear clamping knob first. For storage, the drift cutters can be rotated to rest alongside the housing. Loosen the clamping knobs and rotate the cutters into the storage positions and then tighten the knobs. To put the drift cutters back into their operating positions, once again loosen the clamping knobs, rotate the drift cutters and then tighten the knobs. Be aware that on certain models where the cutters rotate past the skid shoes, you'll want to loosen the clamping knobs adequately so they can clear past the shoes without scratching them. To get a set of drift cutters for your Aaron Snow Throw, visit your nearest Aaron's dealer, which can be found at aarons.com forward slash dealer, or shop from home at parts.aarons.com. Now that's all that we have for you guys today, but if you like this video and want to see more helpful content from Aaron's, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow our social communities on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.